watching a six-man tag team war unlike any that anyone has ever seen before. This year, 2018, the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, Shake, Rattle, and Rollin' his way. One half of Rhythm and Blues with Greg the Hammer Valentine, a household name throughout several years in the 80s and the 90s in professional wrestling, along with the likes of Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake Roberts, the Hockey Talk Man. A huge deal. Is this a four Is three? A rumble for the kids event. Zebra Kid announced his retirement last year, and he showed allegiance with Jimmy Blaze, and there must have been some deals under the table because Chief Atacula Kula, Ox Baker Jr. and company have all agreed that they need to stop one pretty boy Floyd. There's no stopping pretty and boy Floyd. And the Bruiser Jr. and whomever they have selected as their tag team partner. You can't stop PBS. And there's a lot of pre-match trash talking. Dick the Bruiser Jr.'s got a hold of that mustache of Ox Baker Jr. Imagine if he was starting And ordered a forearm smash, and Imagine Jimmy Blaze ran out of town. And the Chief is very hesitant to get in the ring at the moment. It's a Downey Brook before the match even starts. Well, over 500 fans watching the action here at Logan Junior High School at the gymnasium, Princeton, Illinois, the 2018 Rumble for the Kids, and even Zebra Kid's gonna take some abuse at the hands of Dick the Bruiser Jr. As he gets knocked off the ring apron to the floor. These legends have grudges. There certainly are. The greatest feud ever in Rumble for the Kids history has been the one between Pretty Boy Floyd and Chief Otta Cooler Cooler. That's not a secret. That's been reality. They've gone in tag matches, singles matches against each other. And the Chief, Zebra Kid, Oxmaker Jr., and Jimmy Blaze are all even. Okay, do everybody hear those guys? They said they're going home. Well, let's get in some help. Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Baker Jr. and Chief out of Kula Kula along with the dome, Steve. She missed the dome. This is the most talked about match of the night for 
Fisher. Last year, the victory by the Chief Beast and Zebra Kid led to the Zebra Kid's emotional outcall and his final affirmation that he was done in wrestling. He unmasked the, and Jimmy Blaze revealed a past together as an alliance, and now they have formed a collective bond with Chief Atakula Kula, in addition to Alex Baker Jr. in this matchup. Hit to the corner, elbow, pull, pull, pull. Take the Bruiser Jr. in control with a full arm drag and twist here. And we await the arrival of either PBF, Pretty Boy Floyd, who knows how to. Oh, it's Hockey Talk. Oh, Hockey Talk's legal in this match for the first time with the Bruiser. Junior, double clothesline. Bring your rock and roll here to the kids. One of the greatest rule breakers of all time. He ruled Saturday night's main events. He had some of the top feuds ever in professional wrestling against Hogan, Savage, The Warrior, Jake Roberts, Brutus Beefcake, George the Animal Steel, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, and the late Bruno San Martino. Honky Talk Man has wrestled the very best over his time in wrestling. Even Harley Race and even Jimmy Blaze wants to test his skills against the Honky Talk Man. But the Honky Talk Man isn't here to just to sing a song. He's here to rock the house. He's cool, cocky, and bad for a reason. And he has an impeccable hairstyle. He strums a guitar. He has the Bruce Wade shoes. Very loud, outspoken, and opinionated. Well, he hit a kabong here tonight. A swinging neck breaker, a shake, rattle, and roll. Can he double axe handle an elbow drop and smash his way to victory? Maybe a scoop slam. Some sort of a pile driver or something. Atomic drop. Bickering between members of one force Ooh. on one side, and now Honky Talk has handfuls He's of got eyes by the, the mustache. Oh, Jose oh, that difficult didn't make it any better. Oh, he made it a lot better. Oh, Ox is going to need some sort of a uh, hey, facial see, massage after that question. one. <laughs> How to make things better, huh? Oh, what did oh, Chief do? Did he poke him in the eye? Chief was what do you abusing. Mean, did he? he clearly saw he broke it in the eye. He's abusing the trendsetter. The legendary status of Honky Talk Man being tested by Chief Atacula Kula, a man that has held titles in Puerto Rico, the United States of America, and all points in between. Tag made a pretty boy boy, his arch nemesis in these battles. Into the corner he goes, running clothesline by the Chief, has stunned Pretty Boy Floyd. From one corner to the other, he runs in, Two. big clothesline. He's going for one more. Oh, but Floyd was so. ready, and he explodes in the corner. Pretty running bunch clothesline of his own. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chief with a beautiful counter, the inverted atomic drop, and then the running clothesline on top of it. The Chief is a serious threat in this ring. The biggest man, and he might be the strongest. No taking away anything from Honky or from Dick the Bruiser Jr. This man, the Chief, is a brutal beast in this ring. Knox Baker Jr., the master of the hurt punch. He likes to disturb the peace. Great violence everywhere he goes. He's mentally unstable and everyone knows it. And he has a short fuse. Crushing forearm. Puts Pretty Boy Floyd off of his feet. And now I... Zebra doing? Zebra can't do an additional damage unnecessarily. Who said he's allowed to do that? You go back to the zoo. He's allowed to be a manager. He's not allowed to inflict additional damage. That's not fair. The cover. One, two, three, 
Four. Jose Five. Magnifico Eight. trying to restrain Dick the Bruiser Jr. Six, six, but Jimmy Blaze is going to try to choke up. What are you doing? What are you doing? The series right here. Jimmy Blaze had the confession of closeness with the Zebra Kid that he was under the learning tree for a long period of time. Dick the Bruiser Jr. said not today. And the collection of titles. If you're going to be and Pretty Boy Boy, it's going to be fair tactics, no dirty hand tactics. Look at the power. Beautiful sit down driver. The chief trying to end PBF here. And take the Bruiser Jr. and yeah, interfere. Disrespectful pin. How do you think you're going to win the match with a disrespectful pin? Pretty Boy Boy. Boy sensational. He is colorful. He is energizing. There is no tag. He is full personality, pizzazz, and thrills, but against this trio, including Zebra Kid, it's four on one. Daquan Havoc, it's not fair. Everyone knows it. And Hockey Talk can't do anything about it. And Dick the Bruiser Jr. want to go by the official's rules here. They don't want to be disqualified. And a big avalanche puts Pretty boy Floyd down on the mat again. Talk about a man that steals the show every time. It is Pretty Boy Floyd. Second to none, so versatile in the ring. A and true has, fan favorite. He loves, here in the he loves the fans, but the Chief got in a low shot there. A headbutt right to the abdomen. And one way or another, this trio along with Zebra Kid, want to make history tonight. They want to beat the Honky Talk Man, they want to beat a legend, they want to prove that they have a status bigger than Honky's, and You're they want to- You're not Boy and Honky tonight with Dick DeRuz in the corner. They're making a statement here tonight. They want to ruin these kids' dreams. They want to ruin their hopes. They want to ruin Honky Talk Man's homecoming and Princeton dudes. tonight. And Ox Baker Jr. is trying to make it happen. The evil right these old evil dudes, and they always want to ruin kids' hopes. Ox Baker Jr. trying to take out this tremendous trio of fan favorites on the other side. They say they're not the people of tomorrow, they're the evil of today, Steve, and I think I disagree with every word. Oh, show them Take the Bruiser Jr., one of the most beloved stars with his old school offense, has taken down members of the opposition in multiples. And Dick the Bruiser Jr. makes a quick tag to a wounded animal that is Pretty Boy Floyd. Would you have tagged the weak sliver? I don't know if that was smart. Who says Pretty Boy's weak? Look at that right now, Steve. He's obviously got energy. He's doing just fine. Spinning elbow! He took the Chief off of his feet. Can he win it by himself? No way. Jimmy Blaze gets involved. Zebra Kid directs traffic. PBF makes the tag. Here's Hockey back in the ring. And here he goes. Fist of Fury by Honky. Quick jabs and great crosses by the Honky Talk Man. You never get too old to open a can. And he's doing it in rubble for the cans. And all six are in the ring at the same time. One, Will two. we see everybody collide? Oh, yeah. Ox is down. Jimmy Blaze is startled. And he's paired off with Honky Talk Man on the far side. Uh oh. You know what time it is. We've got fisticuffs going down between Dick the Bruiser Jr. and Chief Atacula Kula on the far side. Shake Red on roll the way. Oh no! Hockey Talk was nailed from behind in the spine. The pinata. No, not the pinata. No. Oh my! Candy all over. Blaze hit his partner. Atacula Kula by mistake. Crushing right hand. Hockey Talk's on top. Cover. One, two. Three, Hockey three, wins it all! Ladies and gentlemen,